Hello and welcome to the start of a new series for thetouchspace.com. I'm Alex Bowers and I'll be creating and t uh, teaching you through this tutorial series. Um, so, this tutorial series is um, on a... is building a um, shopping cart in PHP and MySQL. And this is the basic file structure for what you're going to be building. Um, so as you can see, we have a, a cart.php, products.php, index.php, a CSS directory, um, a reset.css, style.css, includes directory, and the con uh, connect.php. So if we go across into our localhost area, which mines on the C drive app serve www um, tutorials and then cart, and you may also notice that over here I've created the shortcut to it. Basically that means that I open this and it takes me straight over to where, um, where my files are saved. This makes it easier. So I would recommend you do that if you um, want to save yourself some time. Save yourself going through the C drive and finding it all that way. As you can see that saved me a lot of time before. So. Um, yeah, to start the tutorial, um, we're going to get a, a CSS reset, which you can get from mayoweb.com um, slash eric slash four slash 2007 slash 05 slash 01 slash reset uh, dash reloaded. Or, alternatively, you can just um, copy it, the link from the uh, sidebar in the video to the right, and you can watch it. Um, uh, copy this file. Uh, sorry that my speech hasn't been that clear to be honest at the moment. I'm like, it's been quite a long time since I last did one of these. Right. So copy that over, CSS. This might not work, I might have to copy it all out. And it did work, so never mind. Um, right, this is basically setting everything so that the browsers all work the same way. Um, everything is back to its basic uh, settings and this is uh, all you need to get CSS to work exactly as you want it. As you can see there's a lot of tags in here so like if there's any which you definitely know you're not going to use like I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use site as I don't even know what that means. So there's certain ones like that in H4, 5 and 6, I definitely won't use, maybe H3. So I could easily delete those to save a bit of file space, but I'll go through all the ones which I don't delete, af which I don't need, and delete them all after, in the very last tutorial. Um, this tutorial series should last about 11 or 12 tutorials, however I might extend it depending on the um, whether people want more or not. So, if you go and save that file to desktop, tutorials, cart, and inside the CSS directory, save this as reset.css. Save that, and that's the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will be going over um, the basics of the index.php and some basic styling for it as well. Um, hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm sorry it's been quite short. And I'm also sorry if my speech isn't exactly very clear. Um, hopefully my next one will be a bit clearer. If not, I will probably be, have to re-record these. So um, hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in a minute.